Right, uh, hello. It's P.O. Box time, baby. Had my P.O. Box delivered yesterday. I've selected some of the things that I thought were the best things I wanted to show you. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, basically all of it is the stuff I want to show you. There wasn't much that I took out. So, this is going to be a long video. So, go and get yourself a drink or 48 chocolate bourbon biscuits. Take off your bras. Just get really comfortable. I don't mean that in a creepy way. I just mean, like, let everything feel free. I'm not being inappropriate with you, just be very clear on that. Okay. I'll start with YouTuber things first, so I've got three things to show you. It's hard for me to move at all because yesterday I went to the gym and actually did a workout as opposed to just go and have some healthy smoothies and swan around looking like, looking like someone that goes to the gym. I actually moved all my muscles vigorously over and over and sweet and holy macaroni I can feel them and it hurts. So, uh, sorry if I make some like noises <laughs> as I move. <laughs> this, this didn't come in my PO box, but let's pretend it did because I want to tell you about it. This is my DVD, my DVD. Louise Penton presents Louise Live, her glittering new show. If you're unfamiliar, I've talked about this a lot, so I don't know how you would be, but if you're unfamiliar, I went um, on tour this summer around various theatres and did like stand up comedy. It was really funny, everybody laughed, not just because we paid them to, they just laughed because they wanted to. And you should definitely buy it because it's not a lot of money. I'll link it below, you can buy it in shops or online. And it's the perfect gift for somebody or yourself. And look at this. <sighs> There's a sleeve and a DVD and the sleeve has glitter on. So first of all, for the production quality alone, you should get it. Um, but seriously, I think you would enjoy it. It's nice to watch in the evenings with friends or alone and if you're not into YouTube or your friend that you're buying this for is not into YouTube it doesn't matter because it's not linked to YouTube so all the jokes you would get even if you're not even if you've never watched a YouTube video in your life you would still get this and enjoy it so you should definitely buy this for Christmas and I will love you forever uh, if you have already got it I would love to see you tweet me a picture with it or something like that that'd be great so uh, I'll put this down Funnily enough, there's already one just there, which I'm just going to leave there for the duration. Secondly, something I'm really proud of is Sam and Nick Chapman made this book. Um, it's called Face, and it is just beautiful. It's like the most gorgeous, gorgeous makeup book, and it's just of coffee table standard. It smells really good as well. And these women are smart, successful women with integrity and creativeness and they're just really fucking cool so you should also buy their book along with my dvd for yourself or for christmas they're the ones that made these brushes real techniques brushes you will have seen those well sam and nick are the ladies behind it so you need this in your life this is a box of zoe's book club you know zoe does her book club this is a little logo for it well i've been very kindly sent the books from the book club. I won't go through them all because that would take ages, but I will put a link below to, um, to her book club for you. If you're an avid fan, you might remember that I played a game called Obama Llama last year with Dan and Phil back when America had a decent president and uh, called Obama. Uh, and it was a really fun game and the makers of the game sent me some more games. So we have Obama Llama. Q Wordy, Rainbow Rage, Mr. Lister's Quiz Shootout, with, it's got holes in the box, and Scrawl, Doodle Your Way to Disaster. I'll probably play some of those in future videos, so we don't need to go through them all straight away, and this is a big old video. So I will go for the Clinique stuff now. Clinique gave me this amazingly soft, beautiful dressing gown that says, Clinique loves sprinkle of glitter, and I tell you, anything monogrammed, I flip in love, and they also sent along an absolute ton, ton of their products. So I'm gonna try and hold up some of them. So this times a million, I'll do a little close up shot of some of these. And of course you'll be seeing some of these, all sorts of stuff. So very lucky girl, thank you Clinique, that was very generous of you. There's a lot of stuff there. A little indie company that I've been following for quite a while on Instagram called Lemon Bubbles, sent me some really cute clothes for Darcy. Their clothes are so sweet, I saw them on um, an Instagram account, I think it's called Mummy Piggles or Mama Piggles, um, and her two daughters who are beautiful, like cherubs, wear a lot of them, and I come and say, they're so lovely, where are they from? And she linked me, and then somehow or another, 
lemon bubbles. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck to myself. I'm a cosmic little thing. And I think that's so cute. Also, that'd be great for a boy as well. It's gender neutral. And then this skirt, look at it, will you? It's a tutu with pom-poms in it. I would like this in my size, lemon bubbles. Please make me one, thank you. Once again, um, Decay have come up trumps with something beautiful. They've brought out the Liquid Moondust Eyeshadow. First of all, would you look at the packaging? It's sublime. I have swatched every single one of these. They're all open. Last night when I took them all out, I was like, I've got to swatch every single one. And they're all so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to start using these. Even like the blue and the bottle green, I'm gonna make work because if you can't wear liquid purple eyeshadow with holographic glitter in around Christmas, when bloody can you? So thank you, Irma Decay. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Good job, you. This is something I was super excited when I opened. Firstly, because I liked the tissue paper, it had glitter on it. And then when I pulled it away, I saw that it was from Disney. This is an exclusive brand new big sleeve edition release of Cinderella to enjoy. Initial titles will include a mix of classics and new releases as D Disney's Big Sleeve Edition will launch with six titles including Cinderella, Star Wars, Beauty and the Beast, Guardians of the Galaxy, Aladdin and Finding Dory. They'll be on sale from, to the public from the 28th of November and they're going to be highly collectible. So it's basically the DVD or Blu-ray but in a vinyl size case. Oh, oh, if you're into Disney this will absolutely thrill you. I'm not going to take that out, I'm just going to keep that really, really nice for a long time and save it for Darcy because I think these are absolutely lovely. If you like to collect Disney things, as in if you're not just like, I like the Disney movies, but if you're that person that like collects the models of Main Street, that's something you're going to be interested in. These didn't technically come in my peer box, but they were sent to me by my publisher who are publishing Robin Wilde, which is the fiction I'm writing. So these are all women's fiction and I am writing a women's fiction. It's available to pre-order now. I'm in the process of writing it. I'm absolutely loving it. It's going to be the best book you've ever read. So that's linked below as well if you would like to place a pre-order for that. Um, but these are some books I'm really looking forward to reading. So we have Resistance is Futile by Jenny Colgan. I absolutely love everything she does. Some of my favourite books are from her. We have What Would Mary Berry Do by Claire Sandy. I would like to know what, what would Mary Berry do? Lindsay Kelk, my literary hero, I Heart Paris. I'm currently reading I Heart London and I also have her new book, um, We Were On A Break, upstairs. And then The Ladies of the House by Molly McGran. This looks a bit different, but I'm excited to give this a go. More books to add to my... I didn't realise I was gonna get all of Zoe's book club list. So basically, got a lot of reading to do. Saving the very last to least, I've got two beauty advent calendars. I've got one from Molten Brown and this is heavy. Like, this is small child weight. This is like the weight, how much does this weigh? You might say at the post office, a toddler. It weighs a toddler. So we'll open it up and look at that. Isn't that just the most beautiful way to package an advent calendar? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this live. I'm gonna do a YouTube live video and I'm gonna open all of them at once before Christmas. I'm gonna do it in November because I think that you should know what's in there in case you want to buy it or something and frankly I can't wait so I'll open those all for you you can just keep your eyes peeled for that video this one is less heavy it's more day old baby than toddler weight and this is from ASOS and this is their beauty calendar looking gorgeous this looks how you would expect whoa how you would expect a beauty calendar to look and much like the other one I'm going to open it in a live video and we'll open it all and do like a haul of all the bits in there but there's some good brands in there Philosophy, sneak, cow shed, all sorts. So that was a really great peer box. Thank you so much to all the brands that sent stuff into it. It's much appreciated. If you are a viewer, please don't send anything to it. I know some of you have asked if you could send gifts or cards or anything like that, but honestly, I, I just actually feel quite guilty when you send stuff in because I don't get a chance to reply, especially if you spent any money on it, even the postage. It makes me like feel a bit squeezy in my heart that you've spent your money doing that. So what I would really value is a comment on the video or a tweet or for you to subscribe to the channel or something like that. Preferably a comment or a tweet really. And I will see you all next week. Buy my DVD and pre-order the book. Okay, thanks. Bye.